Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here, and today we're going to show you how to fix that annoying EA app launcher glitch that is stopping your hybrid Steam slash EA games from getting this dreaded, ugly purple screen, this nasty box of death, which is keeping you from running all of your favorite hard-earned money purchased Electronic Arts games that you bought through Steam. So there's the, there's the problem. It's being reported all over Reddit. You know it, you love it, or you don't love it. So let's get rid of it. So to do that, uh, let's head on over to um, let's head on over to desktop mode. We are going to download a zip package that I've put together that will replace and add files necessary to make uh, this work. So we're back on desktop mode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, my uh, dolphin here. Uh, download the EA app diff zip. You're going to right click and extract it. You're going to get this folder filled with files. Now you need to find your uh, Proton prefix for your game. In this case, uh, Star Wars is right here. Use uh, Proton Tricks to find it and verify that the Electronic Arts files are in there. They are. Go back to the Drive C folder, copy all of these files right on over, and make sure that you write into and you overwrite all. Perfect. Now it looks like you're going, oh Shane, that's a whole gigabyte. No, no, no. It's only, it replaces like 800 megabytes of stuff and then it adds like 200 on top of it for some stuff that was left out of the Steam compatibility layer. So now we're going to go ahead and run it. And uh, lucky you, I'll do some time compression here so you don't have to wait for this game to load. Snooze fest. As you can see, we get the purple box, but this time it says beta on top. I don't know what the purpose of beta is but it does happen. So uh, you may get this notice the first time you run it. That's not unusual, and it'll only happen once. I've done this like a dozen times now, and it only happens once. So we, um, it's gonna try to restart itself. That's okay. Go back into Steam uh, and go ahead and force stop it. So pick Star Wars Jedi and hit stop, perfect. So now that it's stopped, you can now run it again. And this time it will work just fine. No, eventually, you know, you got to wait. So we'll speed this up by five times. Uh, so it says beta at top, it closes, it opens up the new EA one, that closes, and of course your game will start as it should. And we'll do a little more time compression here. Nobody wants to sit around, but I will prove to you that the game starts all the way to the menu, which is a lot further than you had before, am I right? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and quit. And you can see EA does its little finalized stuff and it finishes up. Great. So now let's return ourselves to gaming mode and make sure that this little trick works in gaming mode as well. Once again, we'll launch the game. And we'll, we'll speed through this. There's the beta, there's the EA, blah, 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 blah. And the game starts. Okay, so listen, we know it works. Find the Proton prefix for the EA game in question, copy my files over, start the game at least once, maybe twice, and you're good to go. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. You know what to do. I appreciate your viewership. Uh, I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks always so much for watching, and take care.